In the previous video, we discussed about the breast cancer and its types. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now in this video, we'll be discussing about the breast cancer genes and its mutations. We see we have numerous gene mutations that account for breast cancer. But we are going to discuss major 10 gene mutations that are profound in breast cancers. First is the BRCA1 gene, second is the BRCA2 followed by PLB2, TP53, PTEN, STK11, ATM, CHEK, BRD1 and CDH1 gene. So these are the 10 major genes which when mutated accounts for the most of breast cancers. Here we see the BRCA1 gene mutation is found in 50 to 65% of breast cancers. BRCA2 mutation is found in 45 to 50% of breast cancers, followed by PLB2 in 8 to 10%, TP53 gene mutation in 10 to 15%, PTEN in 2 to 10% of breast cancers, and rest of the other genes that have been shown here are found to be in 2 to 5% of breast cancers. Now here we have two different research papers on breast cancer genes and their mutations. First one is the breast cancer among African American women showing percentage of mutations across major genes in breast cancer. We see BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene mutations accounts for the 76% of breast cancers as shown in the pie chart. Whereas all the other genes accounts for 24% of breast cancers. In the same way, there is inherited breast cancer in Asians, which shows BRCA1 mutation in 28% of breast cancers, BRCA2 in 24%, PALB2 in 10% and TP53 in 9% of breast cancers. And other gene mutations are in traces from 1 to 5%. Now let's see which signaling pathways or cellular functions are affected by the mutations in breast cancer. First we have BRCA1 gene, breast cancer type 1 susceptibility protein and BRCA2 which is type 2 protein. Both genes mediate DNA repair pathways and when we get the mutations of these genes, the DNA repair pathways are affected. And from that we get breast cancer, like adenocarcinoma NST, medullary-like or triple negative or metaplastic subtypes, when we get the BRCA1 mutation. And in case of BRCA2 mutation, we get adenocarcinoma NST and no distinct type phenotype. Then we have PALB2 that's partner and localizer of BRCA2 gene. The protein from this gene aids in DNA repair pathways and if we get the mutation in PALB2 gene, the DNA repair pathways are affected and we get the breast cancer like adenocarcinoma NST and no distinct class. Moving towards TP53 gene, which is tumor protein 53. It regulates gene expression and acts as tumor suppressor gene. Its mutation leads to Lafromini syndrome that leads to breast cancers like Phyllodes tumor, adenocarcinoma NST and 80% of HER2 positive subtype in females. Then we have PTEN gene which is phosphatase and tensin homologue. It regulates cell cycle when it acts as a phosphatase enzyme. It is a tumor suppressor gene. It negatively regulates AKT PKB signaling pathway and when we get the germline mutation of PTEN gene it leads to Cowden syndrome and this causes breast cancer like adenocarcinoma NST, no distinct class and benign breast lesions. Sixth gene is the CDH1 which is catherin one aka e catherin It is a tumor suppressor gene, functions as cell cell addition and its mutation causes invasive lobular carcinoma. Then there is STK11 gene, which aids in cell cycle regulation and apoptosis. It's also a tumor suppressor gene. The loss of STK11 gene is associated with HER2 positive breast cancers. And we see STK11 mutation leads to Peutz Jaeger syndrome PJS, where people have increased risk of developing breast cancers. Then we have ATM gene and CHEK2. All these mediates and aids in DNA repair pathways and when these genes get mutations, we get the breast cancers like adenocarcinoma no special type. So these are the major breast cancer genes and their mutations. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.